Or us. Tip for next time. Boom, we're live, hey everybody, and welcome. I see you guys are already here, everybody's chatting, been having some fun. Let me just set this thing over, like this, that's fine. All right, we, I see we got some of the people that have, me, that have been with me for, well, a long time. We got some new people, so welcome to everybody. And let's have some fun today. I'm not gonna say anything else about the uh, what the hell is going on here. Let me just see. All right. Uh, how's the sound first of all? Gotta check this thing out. Make sure it's right. Can you guys hear me well? Everything's fine. Because for some, for some reason my microphone is giving me a high pitch. I don't know why, but hey. The music isn't good. Well, the music is not my music. It's YouTube's music, so there we go. Anyways, uh, really quickly, as you can see behind me on the other side, uh, V-Ray Lighting course is out. If you're interested in lighting and lighting with V-Ray, go check it out. Link is below. So let's go. Last time that this is where we stopped, we finished up. Uh, well, we finished up the design for the bedroom. We made this thing. The only thing that I've actually done uh, off uh, stream was I came in here and on the corners, actually just went and removed the thing that we had previously because it did not look well. So what I did is I just modeled these three, like so, as, and as you can see, these are just two, cylinder, uh, two cylinders with, um, well, with a side open, and here we have a ring connecting them both, 
and both of them are on top of the bars here so it kind of holds the whole thing together really nicely yes you can you can buy it when I upload tutorials and materials as well all right so uh, today I want to continue with uh, this room oh yeah another thing that I did I kind of made this thing and I initially said that this was gonna be the bathroom but come to think of it this thing was uh, if I made the bathroom about around here this would have taken a lot of the space for the room and it would have really made the entire area seem a lot smaller so what I did is I took the the vanity the uh, toilet seat and I put it over here on this piece so we're gonna have to find a way to make this thing uh, into our uh, bathroom. What I can probably just end up doing since we're not following a blueprint, I can probably extend this thing a bit. So let's try and give it like, I don't know, two meters. So 200. And there you go, this can be the bathroom. So while I'm here though, let me just go ahead and really quickly increase this thing for two meters. There we go two meters and with that we're actually uh, selection now we have quite a bit of uh, space that we can play around in here and hell we can make this even uh, smaller or bigger because I do want to have something like either a shower or maybe um, a bathtub something like that but yeah so this, this is not going to be here. I'm going to delete th this whole thing. And again, we're back to having an open concept design for our, for our room. And we can start adding in some stuff. Uh, also, we got the Koala machine uh, washer and dryer. We're going to put them over uh, here for now. I just want to get these guys out of the way. And uh, after we got... Um, to this if we, after we get to this point where we have to design the uh, the, the bathroom well then we'll see how we deal with this but for now I want to address a bit about the kitchen here now for this piece over here I do have uh, this thing that was supposed to be a placeholder for the walls So I'm going to move this thing out of the way and what is left is the actual, uh, well, yeah it is, there we go. So this is okay, move this thing back a bit and just make sure it fills up the whole place. Let's maybe just scale it up a tiny bit, which would be enough to fill in this gap over here, like so. All right, awesome. So now this place here also doubles down as a divider between the kitchen and the bedroom. And it's kind of okay, I think. Anyways, so let's see what we have here. I'm gonna open up my Discord channel and my folder for the ideas, industrial room, and there we go. All right, so now this is what I have in mind for the kitchen. I want to make it so it's a more of a standardized kitchen. We're going to have to see what sort of a style we choose for the actual uh, kitchen island. But one of the things that I do want to add, especially up on this wall here, is I want to get this idea. The thing with the pipes where it goes around like this. And then you have on the sides, you have some like, something like shelves. So this can double down as a holder for our kitchen. Make it maybe a bit bigger, but this is the whole idea. What do you guys think about this? All right, let me 
me what what have you guys posted here? Alright, that's fine. Ooh. Alright. I see you guys have already started posting some stuff. That's a nice interesting looking chair, but not really the industrial type. This one is not bad at all. This one looks fun. Oh wow, alright. Heavy duty, I like this. So this is definitely some cool ideas up here. All right, cool. All right, we're gonna go with this idea first. So for that one, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna isolate these two so I know what the hell I'm doing. And really quickly, since this is not really gonna be that hard to create, I am gonna go over from this side and start drawing out the shape for this. So it's gonna have one, two, I'm, I'm trying to think about how this thing, uh, how would be the best thing, uh, way to approach this. So make it into one, two, and three shapes. All right, so let's go like this. First one, Ah, crap. All right, so this thing is uh, on the bottom. So raise it up. AEM, what's up, man? So we got one. Then gonna go. Actually, let's start up like this. Two more copies of this thing, like that. Scale this thing in inwards. Maybe like this. Select all of them. Put them in. As such. Maybe get this thing up a bit to about there. And now what we have is a shape that I can start working on. So for this one, I'm going to convert this to a little spline and go to attach. Probably should have done this with a, but we'll see now. Maybe it won't be uh, too much of a problem. We'll see. So I'm going to go this thing. So divide. There we go. One like this. Let's divide this one more time. There we go. Delete both of these. Okay. And divide this thing into two. Snap that thing over there. Snap this thing over there. Do the same thing here. Divide into two. Ah, crap. All right. So <laughs> snap that one over there and snap that one over there. And delete all of these. Delete that one as well. Now, select all of these vertices and weld them together. There you go. So now, right click, convert all of them into corners. That's fine. So if I go ahead and check the rendering, let me just really quickly see how 
well this thing is gonna work so thickness maybe three all right zoom in that's fine all right now what I can see here is that the corners are rounded so let's go ahead and add that I'm gonna select all of my uh, corner vertices which is basically all of them except the ones on the top in here and probably could have done the same thing on the bottom so it kind of looks like this but yeah you know what let's go for it I do like that idea so I'm gonna go and what did I just do all right front yeah that's fine I'm gonna put on a symmetry on the Y flip around move the mirror down okay turn it off symmetry and convert to an edible spline oh nope does not work that way okay nah no not doing that not doing that all right back to the original idea just get this thing as it is and fill it the corners holy crap that's way too big all right I guess no to that idea so really you're not gonna work this way well that was unexpected let's see like this then see one by one Alright, so we're not going to do, do it that way then. We're going to go and reset the X-Form. For some reason, this thing is acting up really weirdly. So I'm going to go reset X-Form and convert it to an edible spline. And now, let's see. Okay, now looks a lot better. Everything is fine. Select everything up here. Fill it. Ah, there we go. All right, much, much better. And awesome, I actually like this. There we go. So what I want to do now is I want to select this thing grow 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 deselected uh, select all everything that's similar so modify selection select similar that will select all of these guys so detach as a clone put a shell on top of the these like so okay so with a shell of one that's gonna give me some nice thickness here so maybe let's just try it like this so like those two edges similar there we go it kind of selected ah uh, okay I was not expecting that so select that one and that one Again, select similar. Oh, it's selecting these ones. All right, I guess not. So, well, uh, how do we get this thing to simplify it? I'm trying to like do the lazy thing and not do the whole one by one. Oh, you know what? 
I don't even need to add all that extra geometry. Looks kind of okay like this, honestly. If I have to go in later on and put in the extra geometry, I could, but for now it's it's okay, I think. There we go. Alright, so fill that... No. Jump for this? No. Okay, so refine. Put one over here, another one over there. So now take these two, move it inwards, like so. All right, that's fine. Edit poly. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What just, what just happened here? All right, turn on the edit poly. Edit poly on top now. Zooming up to here, delete both of these. Grab the corners. Scale outwards once. it in these two Just zoom in one more time chamfer a small chamfer like that two edges click OK turbo smooth on and we have something to hold that thing so now for this one give it a grayish color Make this thing a darker color, and yeah, there we go. So, anti isolate. Maybe move it just a tiny bit more over to this side, like so. And now we can move this maybe like so, so we can have a bit of space to put some shelves on. So let me isolate it again like this. So now I can select my end corners here. That one and that one. Oh, control click on the selection for polygon. Grow, grow, grow 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 and move it all the way up to the wall and that's nice how did you just do that do what how did I just do what how did I only see splines you mean like this Or what? You know you can press F2, F3 and F4 to uh, change the way uh, you see stuff in 3ds Max. For example, whenever you select anything, it shows it up in red. If you press F2, it will only give you an outline. It won't actually give you the uh, selection here in red. If you press F3, that will make everything to be in wire mode. F4, it will remove the wiring from the shading. So yeah, F2, F3, and F4 on your keyboard is your friend. All right, so we got this. Now let's add in some uh, shelves to help with this. For this, let's go with simple boxes just to outline where those shelves are gonna be. go like this now edit poly move it in all right that's fine select 
all of these edges that we don't need. What we have, what we have left is just uh, the shelf. Move it to about here, I think, and give it some shell. Give the shelf a shell. Straighten the corners. Uh, okay, maybe two centimeters. Let's check it out. Raise it up. Add it poly, move it in. Now chamfer this. Uh, let's try 0 0.3. 0 0.1. Yeah, this is going to work. So we need to have one of these like so. Bring this thing down to here. This time around though, flip it over on the X. So mirror it on the X, no clone, that's fine. Put it up to there. Drop one more over here. Select these three. Move them there, again, mirror them on the X. Make sure they are in the right spot. And there we go, we're slowly starting to put in some shelves that we can use. The only thing that we can do here is just for the bottom one or the very long one, add in like this. Put in one mirrored as a copy on the X. Move this thing all the way back. For this one though, uh, what we can do is just select both of these, remove the chamfer from both, and attach There we go. Select both, bridge them together. Control backspace to remove the one in the middle. Another chamfer to get to where we were previously. 0 0.1 will work. And boom. Bob's your uncle. We got our shelves made up. And we can work with this. Hey, Valentina, what's up? Welcome back. Okay, so now for this one, from what I can see in here, we can use it uh, like this. I might actually want to get the top one here. Just increase this thing a bit more. Kind of goes and looks like crap. I don't like it, so I might make it like this. Oh, wait a second. If this thing is extending like this, does that mean that these guys are not straight on the Y? Nope, they weren't. All right, but now they are. All right, now what up? There we go. Much better. And it looks similar to what we have here. So we can work with that. All right, select uh, these guys, all of them. I'm gonna give them a different color. I don't like the pink. Let's make it black. There we go. All right, so for our kitchen, we got an interesting design sim similar to what we had here. What I'm gonna do here though is just uh, make this thing so it kind of has that yellowy color. This thing is gonna have a much darker color. There we go. That's fine. All right. Now let's deal a bit with our kitchen. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Give me some ideas about. Uh, kitchen design that would be industrial.
Oh, Sarah's sharing stuff. This is not a bad design either, but then again, I think we already got the mm, the piping design done, so it's fine. What is this? Oh, no, 16 gauge. Not bad. This is sort of stuff that kind of gives the whole uh, room a bit of uh, idea. Let's see what else you guys have posted. Yeah, we got a lot of ideas posted here. So are we going to go with something similar to what we have here, like a modern? Or are we go going to go a bit more with... Well, you guys haven't really posted other ones. What the hell is this? There you go. Hmm, not a bad idea for something like this. Let me see where it goes up in my thing. Ah, we got it there, that's fine. It's a pretty up high. All right, so now we're, uh, what, I'm, uh, what I think we should add is the kitchen island here. So this is the workspace. How do we design this? Do we make something that's gonna be like what we already did in the previous ones, or are we gonna do something that's gonna be more specific? That's what I'm trying to like figure out. What do you guys think? What would be a, what would be a good idea to get for this kitchen? Let me go over to some of the ideas you guys have posted. Yeah, maybe even something like this. Reclaimed wood or reclaimed whatever. Hmm. All right, let's see. See what have you guys what have you guys posted now? All right, interesting. Yeah, see, this I cannot use in here. It ha it will need to have a kitchen island and not really that much space up in here. So I want to get it so it's kind of, well, I guess maybe extends to around where this thing stops. So maybe like this. So it's a, it's a, rel a relatively small kitchen space to work with. So I guess what we can do is uh, put in maybe like uh, divider in here for three pieces or three set piece where we're gonna have to keep one for the actual sink and two and maybe just a couple of ones up here for a couple a couple of them as drawers but yeah that's about it not too much we can do work, uh, with this design for a kitchen so let's just go and do that then now, first of all, let me move this thing inwards to about there. I'm going to have to find something for this. Well, actually, you know what? This can go in all the way across, but it just extrude. There we go. Let me go like this. First of all, jump for this with a smaller amount of 0 
make it open, cap it off, select this, detach, that's fine, move it in, that's okay. Now for this one, inset, scale in, extrude in, all right, that's gonna have to go all the way back, but like this, that's gonna be enough. Select that one, move it inwards like that, so it's just on the corners. Now, chamfer, give me a rounded corner of uh, 0 0.1. Is it enough to be visible? Yeah, that's gonna be enough. Maybe even a bit more 0 0.2. All right, that's cool. So I'm going to chamfer with 0 0.2 here as well. Let's try it out. Uh, put a different color to this thing so I can see what, how it looks. All right, so I have that first division. That's OK. The chamfer is fine. Now for this one, let's really quickly add in the division or define where we're going to have the opening for my sink. Open it up, move it a bit. Let's see if it's maybe going to be in the way. This could be a bit of an issue that we have a shelf on top of there, but I guess that's going to be not going to be really a problem if I move this thing up up front like this there we go center it okay awesome now go in divide this thing into three mm. move it like this so we have uh, remove this one Uh, this one goes in the middle. This one gets in another cut. So now it's straight in the center. One to go across. And this is going to be where we're going to have our drawers. So for here, I'm going to go ex inset first. There we go. Now move these guys into position. Scale it in. Extrude. All right, cool. We got that. So now what we want to do is again select all of these inset of uh, let's write one individually not as group but a polygon hmm might be too much for one so let's try 0 0.5 0 0.3 all right 0 0.3 works uh detach as a clone now again, select all of these, go extrude. For all of them except this one, there we go. So grow this one, or actually shrink, move it up front to about there. 
it's not actually going through. We're not going to be opening up that thing. Or better yet, wait a second, I don't even need to have that thing there. Uh, Alright, so, grow and delete that. Now, I think I made a bit of a mistake because I don't need to have an opening up here, so really quickly just get back in here, delete this, cap this as such, so we're fine. Now get back to this, give it a shell. We got two centimeters, fine. A chamfer, again 0 0.2. We have some consistency going on. Chamfer of 0 0.2 here as well. this and everything is fine although I think that I probably should have now come to think of it should have just selected this one and added it in didn't have to give it the thickness Boom to an element that's fine So now it can look like there is something over there, but it's not actually going to be functional, so it's fine. All right, cool. We will need to have some sort of a handle. Uh, let's just really, really, really quickly add in something. And that's a rectangular, would work just fine. This is the only one that's not a drawer, so I'm going to just position it here. Now choose a corner radius, make this thing smaller, there we go, like this, that's fine. Convert to a spline. Remove this. back to enable and viewport and renderer uh, yes needs to be smaller there we go scale it in oh all right go from the middle there we go now it's no longer deforming there edit poly and center to object two ninety pull it down here pull it here two copies and this one goes here Deselect all of that. Make it a different color. Alright, very, very simple design for this. We can definitely maybe change it a bit later, but for now, I think the kitchen area here is fine. I have something to put on it. Which kind of gets me to the point where we're definitely one of these streams you're gonna have to uh, f end up finishing or modeling some sort of a microwave or something like that so we can use because I don't think we have one or did we actually model a microwave 
can't really think about it. can't think of it. Maybe we had one in the micro apartment. I'm not sure. Anyways, now, since we got... What is this? Why do I have this issue? Eh, I don't know. Now, for the actual bread and butter of this uh, scene, we will need to create something as an interesting living quarters. So the living room here. Now, later on, when we get to the point where we have to create some lighting for uh, our scene, so some lighting fixtures, what I have in mind is over here, I wanna have uh, some hanging lights coming from the ceiling and have one of those lights that have the wire like entangled up here and just like drop it down on a actual uh, line. So we're gonna see how that goes. But for now, I do want to have something created for this entire room. So I'm gonna let you guys give me some ideas. I know you guys have posted some amazing ideas so far and now would be the time that we go ahead and actually choose what we want to do. See, this is amazing. Oh, this is for rebar. Man, this is great. Oh, wow. All right. This is getting saved. We might actually add in this thing somewhere here in our room. This is great. This is cool as well. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Wait a second. Now I think we're getting to a point where actually I'm seeing stuff I like. All right, so the design for this is a nice rounded couch, nice uh, smaller table in the middle. This could really, oh wow. All right, here's, a, here's an interesting idea that could actually work for what we have, namely, from what we can see here, we have a very high ceiling, something similar like what we have in our room, but they have this fixture for the lighting that is really recessed down to maybe like two and a half meters. So that would be the regular size for the ceiling. Kind of gives it a really interesting look. I like this idea. Let me save it up. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll use it, maybe not. Well, here is another idea. Use up some something like pipes to create the sofas oh wow look at the bold lighting i'm a really big fan of this one idea 19 no idea 20 ah damn we're full of ideas man you guys have posted 20 ideas that i've saved up so far so we'll see what do you guys think about this? How do you guys like it?
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this was what we had last uh, time. Is one of these pallets. This time they're on this. This time they're on wheels, but it's uh, again it's shipping pallets. On top of it, it's some. Well, hmm. Why not? I, I. So I'm gonna let you guys choose again. Idea twenty one. So we're either gonna go with this. Or we're we gonna go with this. So cast your vote. If you wanna go with this, type in number one or green. If you wanna go with this, type in number two or gray. Your choice. Well, where do we go from here? Gray or green? I got we got two, two. We got two going for this one. So gray is winning. Four going for gray. Four to zero. Five to zero. I guess six zero. Seven zero. I guess everybody's a big fan of the gray look. All right, why not? Why the hell not? We're gonna make this thing. Let me just see how this thing is made. All right, so he has one, two, two in the back, two in the corners. It has, does it have, yep, it has that thing in the background. All right, I guess we're going with this one. Not too complicated. It's going to have a bit of a work, but hey, that's what we're here for. So let's have some fun with this. First of all, like always, time to save. Now, once we save, what we need to do is try to establish some size for this thing. So for that, I'm going to do is go in and check sofa size all right it says modern sofa maybe should be 200 centimeters by all right so let's really 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 quickly I'm gonna go res Set, yes. Actually, first of all, let me just save up as a second scene. I don't want to screw up something and lose everything. That's for the style. Scene number three, that's fine. There we go. Reset, yes. All right, new scene. In here. I'm just gonna drop in the sizes and the sizes are as followed as follows uh, my length here is gonna be 200 centimeters my width is gonna be 102 and the height is going to be 96 so this is the size for a regular Now here's another one I do want to have, and that is the size for this thing here for the height should be 39. This is the size for the, uh, or the height for the seat. And 102. That's fine, but 64. All right, so now what I have here with these lines is quite simple. I want to get this thing to snap over here and this line to snap over 
here. There we go. All right, so what we ha have here uh, in this placeholder for now, this is the size as to what I need to have it. And over here, like this uh, box, this is the seating uh, size. So this needs to be about this tall for the seating and it needs to be this deep. So the area for seating is this. So let's start creating stuff. All right. Hey there, nice to see you. Yeah, hey, nice to see you too, guys. Uh, welcome to the stream. Can you, uh, can you make the pillows in Marvel's design? Yes, I can, and yes, I will. I will make everything uh, for this uh, chair or this sofa in Marvel's design just to make it uh, better or make it more realistic. Now, uh, the thing that we're trying to follow is the design for what we have. So let me just get back to my design. There we go. I can see that this thing has three prominent features. The first one is the actual wooden uh, encasement or wooden shell. So let's start with that. The wooden shell should go all the, crew, all the way across. So for that, what I can do is I can select these guys. All of these, the ones on the back as well. And yeah, well, there is one on the bottom here as well. So like this. So basically the shell. Detach this as a clone. That's fine. Make this thing see through. Now, select this. I know for a fact that this thing is not on mm, the ground because it does have some legs. So we're going to raise it up for maybe 20 centimeters. All right, so let's just move it 20 up like this. All right, that's cool. Uh, select the top, move it down for maybe 10. Negative 10 or negative 10. That's cool. And on the inside, negative 10. Positive 10. Ah, uh, no. All right. Well, the ones in the corners can stay as they are. Okay. Oh, really? Crap. I just noticed that I was not moving the actual geometry that I created, but instead I was moving the placeholder, which kind of sucks. <sighs> All right, negative 20. I said negative 20. There we go. Negative 10. And leave the rest as it is. Give it a shell. Or actually, let's just get rid of the stuff that we don't need. Soul geometry doesn't really uh, do much. And if it's not uh, giving anything to a model, it's taking away. So just hit it with the shell. The shell can be three centimeters and zero. Make it straight in corners. All right, that's cool. Now let me see. All right, so the frame here is not really that complicated. We can get away with it. That's fine. All right, so isolate this as such. That's okay. If I chamfer this of a 0 0.1, it's going to be enough or not. 0 0.2. Yeah, 0 0.2 will work. That's great. Okay, so I want to save first before I do anything else. Get back to Twitch. 
industrial style and save it up. Industrial sofa. A one. All right. So now we have this uh, wooden base. Now we need to create the actual seats and the puffs. So for that one, as always, marvelous designer, get a rescue. Let's see if marvelous designer would decide to crash in me today or not. First one I'm gonna do is actually gonna go ahead and export this thing. and bed frame avatar all right that's fine just need that thing done that's fine all right marvel designer Avatar, that's fine. Go import OBJ, find my avatar. Let's see, download MD stream. I've exported this thing in. Centimeters automatically add arrangements to know. Load as avatar. Okay. All right. Well, we got our bed. So I probably should have done this in a different manner, like get it from here and export out like this. The main difference would have been that when I import it into Marvelous Designer, it will hopefully put it in a different way. So let's just see. Avatar, delete all avatars. Again, import OBJ, bed frame avatar, centimeters. Don't add in that thing. Ah, no. All right. I should have rotated it around, but doesn't really matter. Anyways, let's start creating some stuff. Now, for this one, I can see that I will need to have one, two, three, four, five, six cushions. Cushions here are not going to be that hard to create. Namely, I will need to have one that's going to be over here. All right, make it less so. So I'm going to need one over there. So copy, paste one on top in here, move it around down to here and now we will need to have C V one next to it like so this one I will need to be smaller have it smaller like so all right copy paste over on this side Let's just take all of them, raise them up a bit, so I can see what the hell is going on. And once we have that, I actually do want to get one more of these. Put it here. There we go. Now let me just see how big this thing is. 17. So let's change light. 17. Uh, start. All right, that's fine. Change the length to 17. Is this 17 as well? Yes, it is 17. Ah, oh, it's 17. No, doesn't matter. 17 or not? God damn it. I see V. 
put it there. Okay. Let's start putting stuff in place. Like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's start sewing stuff up. Segment sewing. I just do it here. I actually love this that you can actually saw in the 3D view. There's no way that something can get screwed up. There we go. And the last one is this one. really quickly simulate now select all of it put it over on this side it will need to have some not solidify where is my Pressure, there we go. Pressure, let's hit five. Way too much. Two. No. All right, got two of these guys up in here. I'm going to have to make this thing a bit more rigid for now it's really testing it up as a deflated balloon and yeah let's try the pressure of five again I'm not creating the pillow in 3ds Max because somebody asked me to do it in Marvel Designer. So now I'm gonna have to deal it, deal with Marvel Designer and pull a lot of stuff in here and make sure it doesn't stick. Stop sticking! All right, Control Z, Control Z, back, go back, go back, go back, more back. All right, we're fine. Now I want you to say everything and go and strengthen it. Which one is this? All right, freeze. Yeah, you're gonna hold there. Now. Select all of this and change the fabric. The property. Editor, no. No. Where the hell did I move that thing? Okay. What the hell is going on here? <sighs> well, you know what? Why not? Let's unstrengthen this. Unfreeze. Get this thing to zero. You're gonna get frozen. Uh, 
Ah, damn it. Don't do this. Now it looks like a garbage bag. What the, why is it this thing sticking through the damn floor? Let go! Ah. I'm strengthened. Let go of the floor. Damn it. Now it's gonna try to fly away. Of course it is. This is why I dislike this thing. All right, get one. There we go. Now, once we have this, I'm going to get you all the way back. Why are you sticking? Stop sticking. Oh man, you know what? Just stick. Enjoy your sticking. God damn it. Fine. Just stick around. Alright, now you're gonna get un solidify or unstrengthen. You wanna stick around? Stick around. You're gonna get a, a weft 105. Unstrengthen 105 as well. No? One oh five. And now this thing will either make it or break it. So I'm gonna unfreeze, unstrengthen. No, wait, stop. There we go. That's as far as you're moving. You're not moving anywhere else. You're gonna get frozen here and you better not hey, you know what that's fine oh, what the hell I'm strengthening hey, hey hey look at this thing look at this ha uh ha -huh. uh, not bad oh mm. Fudge, I just noticed something. This is kind of fine, but this thing is too short. It needs to go all the way back. Shit. <sighs> Bob's not my uncle. Bob is, an, is a sadistic... No, I'm not done. Not done at all. Need to make this thing a bit bigger. Okay. Let's make this thing another 20.4. Oh man, this gun. This is going to suck. And freeze. Twenty point four. No. Twenty point four. Ah, uh, this is going to suck real bad. I knew this was going to. I freaking knew it. I knew this was going to happen. Now, this thing is going to look like a freaking sack of crap. Yes, you will. God damn it. <sighs> Readjust yourself.
Well, the positive is that at least now I know what's the size of this thing supposed to be. So let's go ahead and just reset the damn thing. And of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Put everything into position. You need to really turn the fuck around. Whom had the idea to make this thing into... Marvel's designer. <laughs> curious I need to see who made me make this and this backside whoa no 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 you need to get the deflated back to zero you need to get uh, frozen Deflate. Okay, almost, almost, almost. Unfreeze. This thing gets pressure of one. Select everything. Freeze, and you, my friend here, please do not fly away. Here's a pin for you, just so you don't freaking fly away. Stay here. That's cool. You're gonna get a pressure of one, maybe shrinkage weft of 105. go unfreeze this thing there we, go. Ah, there we go you are done you're not getting you're not gonna move anywhere now all right well actually you know what I'm gonna select everything freeze deselect just the top one here the front one unfreeze and now since I have everything uh, where I need it to be. I'm just freeze this thing, move it in like this, and hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I got this. Woo, okay. You're gonna get frozen. I'm gonna select you guys, copy, paste over on this side. Flip around. I do want to have this thing uh, in here. Okay, so now deselect or unfreeze both of these. I 
105, 105. Oh. Select those, freeze. Okay, now I need two more on the ba on the base. Although I think these are gonna have to be a bit uh, smaller. But we'll see. Oh yeah, these are definitely gonna need to be smaller. Actually, just to I can make it easier for me. I know for a fact that these ones will need to go on the back as well. So let's put them in here so I can gouge how big it, I'm going to need these things to be. Uh, let me open up my uh, image and see this. Thing. Yeah, these are a lot smaller than the ones in the corners. And these on the back actually do go on top of the ones in the seat. So let's get the ones in the seat to cover up the whole thing first. All right, so let's gouge in the actual size for these first. So select everything. No, move them up. See how big this thing is supposed to be. Thirty-five, fifty-three. Wait, what? Thirty. Hmm. Reverse angle, no. Focus, zoom, extends, no. Mirror base, no. thing down get this thing down those are fine all right let's get all of these unfreeze and let's re simulate redrape this whole thing all right so the size is fine but I will need to make it smaller and definitely I have to get some of this thing off Please start playing Bub BG. No.
no game can piss you off as much as 3D work can piss you off, man. Alright, so... Alright, now, select all of these guys, make this thing a lot smaller now. Maybe half of the size. I'll just... Why is this thing floating? The Please don't do stupid stuff like this. There you go. Yo, stop trying to do stupid. Oh, wow. All right. Okay, now I understand why this thing is doing the stupid stuff. <sighs> See the spin? Midair. Freaking pin. Uh, all right, got this thing floating in midair, which is nice. Now I need to make this thing a lot smaller. Twenty-seven. Yeah, I think twenty-seven is gonna be better. Twenty-seven. 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 I was gonna catapult it. Yeah, that's fine. It didn't catapult anything, that's fine. Okay. Move this. Move this thing down. And there is. You just click on this thing. And then you can just scale uh, around, but I have no idea how uh, big the scale for this thing should be, so that's why I'm doing it manually. Now hopefully this thing will fill in. Oh, why are you... What the actual frick is this? Blow up! I'm actually happy with how this thing is looking so far. So now what I'm going to do is select the front one the back one, the side one, and most importantly, the bottom one. And freeze these. So by freezing them, you can only work on the front. And this one, I actually do need to decrease or increase the wrap. Right, 15, and now going down, decrease the goddamn pressure. What just happened there? <laughs> Seriously, what just happened there? Why are you sticking to the gut? Ah, man, stop sticking! Damn it! Alright, Control Z is my friend. It will unstick this. Hopefully. Yeah, it will. No. Nope. You're gonna get a pressure of three. Pressure of 1.5? No? Really? Not, not 15! Damn it! 
This thing is on drugs. <laughs> now he's gonna get. <sighs> I hate this shit. Ah. <sighs> And this front one is gonna. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, I'm missing a shrinkage weft on this one. Let's try 105. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. I got enough detail in here, so I'm gonna freeze this. And now you, you're gonna be what I hate the most to get. Well, actually, you know what? You know, you're not. I'm just gonna move you in like this. And for this, I'm going to actually give you a bit more particle distance to play around with. Increase the amount of detail that I'm going to have for you. I'm going to get you to play like this. Ah, stop! Damn it! Why? No. Uh huh. Move over from every side until I get. Oh, yeah. You're getting frozen like this. Woo! <sighs> okay. Copy, paste. One more on this side. Now, please don't make this thing too big. Please don't let it be too big. Let's, please let... <sighs> well, guess what? It's too big. This is going to be interesting. This is so entertaining. It's like watching two fat people trying to squeeze in through something very, very small. Go in, smash! No, 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 you're not supposed to be doing this. Go beneath. Go in, fat people. Go, 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 go. Damn it! <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Inflate, inflate, inflate. Don't overdo it, though. Come on, get, get, get off of it. Stop pushing! Stop, damn it, stop pushing, stop, stop, no, no, don't, don't eat the right one. <sighs> don't eat. Come 
Come on, just settle down and be nice. Scotty, don't jinx it, man. Don't you dare fucking jinx it. Oh, I just said the bad word. All right, now, I got this thing, move it. No, don't, don't, re no, 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 just slightly, ever so slightly move like this. This way, that's fine. Please don't crash or do some stupid stuff like that now. So, I'm gonna actually just take this, freeze. Select the one on the back freeze save us project uh, okay cam I download MD stream before stuff happens that's what I'm gonna call this project now save the garment for the garment go to <laughs> stuff thing fine all right get back to doing the simulation let's go let's go let's go, 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 go. move You get deflated, and now once you rise the hell up, maybe I can use you for some time. If I can only get this front side to rise up. And freeze again. Damn it, stop being lazy and just move into position. You're gonna get frozen. Actually, you know what? Why am I even bothering with this one? Just freeze this one as well. Freeze this one as well. I don't need the computing power to lose on that one. You hear you are going to get and like this, then from this side like that. All right, you're actually fine, so I can freeze you as well. The only thing I need to fix is just this guy being very, 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 very lazy. Not wanting to get into position. But you know what? Quite honestly, if this thing doesn't want to go down, I'm just going to push it down, push it down, yank it away from the wall.
Frozen. 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 Okay, the Frozen. Yeah, I'm using a GTX 970. And holy crap, this thing is slowly starting to get to the point where I can actually maybe use it. No, <laughs> don't, don't cave in, move up. Just a bit more up. And a bit more up. And you're getting frozen now. <sighs> Whew. All right, now we got one, two, three, four down. We need two more on the back. These ones on the back need to be like the ones on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is uh, copy paste this thing one more time. Now move this thing down. I think it's a bit too tall. So for this, I'm going to have to decrease this thing to go down maybe like 22. Let's see how 22 is going to be fine. 22. There we go. So 22. 22. Fine now. Uh, mm. So freeze, unfreeze. Just go down really slowly. Finish with the draping, please. very carefully unfreeze all of this for a very small amount like a half a second and then stop the simulation right away like this awesome freeze you're going to get frozen as well. So those two cannot move. The front one can move. What about the bottom one? Yeah, bottom one can move. All right, so this thing is more or less set in position. That's cool. Now maybe move it in just a tiny bit like this. <sighs> of course, this thing needs to move as well. So unfreeze. Backside is going to be fine. Front is going to be fine. It's laying here on, it's resting really nicely. That's fine. Now, let me just take this whole thing, copy paste one more. What did I just do? Copy, paste. 
Ha! Let's see. Let's see what happens. Fudge. He's gonna. Uh, this one is gonna be an asshole again. But you know what? It's fine. Tilt it a bit. Now I let it rest through the back. And then the rest I can just ever so slightly move in max. Make sure it doesn't do anything stupid. Now the really good part comes, so I'm gonna unfreeze this. Uh, let's see. Please do not do something very, very unexpected and stupid. All right, I'm gonna unfreeze you. Do not do something stupid, please. Just set into position very, very slowly. No, I told you not to do something stupid. What the hell is this? This is stupid. Don't do stupid stuff. Why are you doing this? That's why it's doing stupid stuff. The bottom is frozen. It's trying to keep that same shape. Does that mean that this bottom is frozen as well? Yes, it is. Uh, that's why it's doing the stupid stuff. Damn it! Just give me... Unfreeze. Wait, really, what? It's not frozen? Should be frozen. Yeah, there we go. What the hell, man? Why are you... Just fall into place. You got plenty of space. Oh, of course. It's going to decide to. You assume you're a master in 3D? <laughs> I assume nothing. I know that there are a lot of things I don't know. That's all I know. Every time I assume I know something, I just learn how much I don't know. And that's the only thing that I know. Yeah, but you know what? Just... Fine, you want to do it that way? Just select you guys. You're going to get selected as well. All of you getting frozen. Uh, yeah. 
And now, what is happening here is you're gonna get start. You're gonna get start something like this. You're gonna get moving like this. You know what? I'm actually happy with how this thing looks. So you're gonna get frozen. You are getting frozen. There you go. Case chi chill 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 stop No damn it doesn't look right Doesn't look right Almost looks right getting frozen now you're getting unfrozen and hopefully I can start getting some details up here let's try 110 and it's fine you're getting frozen all right so then uh, save project Yep. Now save as a garment stuff thing. Yep. Hey, Asmet. Good news. 3ds Max 2020 got released with quite a new features quite a, <laughs> quite a lot of new features all right good news Th uh 3ds max 2020 uh got released bad news there's nothing new in it i saw the feature list it's useless it's basically something that would probably could have gone by with a minor patch but autodesk being autodesk they decided to make it a new version so it's the new one ain't worth crap Ah, uh, this is the latest version. I think, yeah, this is the Marvel Designer 8. Rebecca, what the hell is wrong with you? Why would you, why would you even say that? Holy crap. I mean, goddamn. All right, so select this. Export. OBJ selected. MD stream. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go with uh, Billows 3D. Hit save. All right, unified textures. Unified UV coordinates is fine. Centimeters is fine. Okay. Freeze all. Just do this and see if I can get it to simulate for just one. 
half a second. Enough. That's okay. Now, select all of this. Export. Well, actually, you know what? Let's just do it like this. Reset this. Export will be just selected. Billows 2D. Unified, OK. Control Z. There we go. Save as project. What should happen? Z. That's oh, fine. All right. Now, let me see how this thing is going to look like. Import where we just exported out to temp. Uh, download stream below 3D import boom yeah boy all right now let's really quickly just fix up some of the stuff that we have here I do want to have my soft selection on increase the soft selection so when I move stuff it doesn't really affect anything else. All right, that's fine. All right, let me just really test this thing out. I need to go and drop a texture. Let's click access, textures, and miscellaneous. Yeah, this one. Just drop in my texture. Boom. All right, now this thing is properly UV'd, 5 by 5 yeah, we got plenty of space, that's cool, all right, dollar sign material equals undefined, again, that's fine, I've actually said that multiple times, I don't like the slate editor, I, I'm using it in every other single uh, Software like uh, Unreal is everything like it's their mm, blueprint system is all slate. In Max, when I'm still playing with Max, I still play with the original or the old uh, material editor. All right, so we got this thing and uh, this thing here in the back as well. I'm gonna save it. We still need to create the shape for the rest here like the piping but that's actually not that hard really simple to create and we'll probably continue on in the next stream for this one i think we're pretty much done uh, we had some fun this thing proved to be a tad bit more resilient than what i expected but honestly i think it was fun i hope you guys had fun watching me uh try to tackle with this thing at points, it was, eh, it was interesting, but at the end we ended up with, uh, I think it's a pretty mm, decent looking uh, material, or a pretty decent looking um, model. Yeah, let me just take edge of this turn. there we go, that's fine. Let me just really, really, really quickly move some of this stuff around. Oh, no, no. 
these are not actually welded together so let's leave them like that for now and yeah we well yeah adding stitches on this thing would not be that hard honestly okay uh I've actually had this question being asked quite a few times how you can add stitching. So let me just really uh, quickly show you guys how to, to add stitching in a really, really fast manner. For let's say you have this thing. I'm going to isolate just one. This thing is already being saved, but let me just save it again. Eh, it's not going to take that much, so I won't uh, wait for the other stream. I'm just going to show you right now. What you basically need to do is you need to decide where you want to have your stitching. For example, let's say you want to have it over here where you have the middle part uh, meeting the uh, corners. What you want to do is you go in, you select the border, and that will select it since it's coming out of uh, Marvelous Designer. It will go across the whole place like this. So what you want to do is you go over, create a shape from selection, make it a linear one, doesn't really matter. This will create this line. Now, depending on how big you want the stitching to be, if you actually select uh, one, you're going to see that you have a lot of uh, vertices going across, but we need to find a way to unify this. The way to unify this would be to go in and choose a spline normalizer. So normalize spline, it was either, yeah, normalize spline, like this. Now you add in the segment distance, let's say of one. This means every one centimeter, you're gonna have one vertex. You can even uh, choose to have it at a smaller amount, like 0 0.5 maybe, or yeah, one is gonna be enough actually. So now on top of this, right click, convert to an edible spline. And now you can see that you have this thing normalized on every centimeter you have one uh, vertex now what you want to do here is enable the render in viewport choose what's the uh, size you want to have here for the thickness let's try 0 0.3 uh, like this now select all of these uh, vertices and go break so right click and break 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 where is the break uh, it's not there okay now we're oh yeah there we go break what this did is it basically made all of these individual elements so now what you do is you select all the elements and you scale them in Let me just find the gizmo. There we go. So when you scale them in, they all of them get smaller like this. And once this thing is done, turbo smooth on top of it. And guess who just got some stitching going around the whole thing. It's not the best way, but it, it is the quickest. And unless you're going to be very, very, very close, you're never going to be able to see that this thing is not proper stitching. So yeah, there you go. You just got yourself some nice stitching. It's all of it. It's at uh, 0 0.5 uh, centimeters and that's it. Anyways, we went over uh, a lot of in interesting, th interesting things today. We had some fun. We created some models and well, that's about it. That's when we finish for today's stream. So I would like to thank everybody that was with me today. We had some new people. We had some uh, old people with us. Well, not old people, but people that have been with me for a longer uh, period. Uh, it was great having you all here. I hope you will be with me on the next stream. Where we'll continu continue creating our scene. And yeah, that's about it. So this means the only thing that I have left over to say is my ending line. And that is what, ladies and gentlemen, what is the ending line? Peace!